Guys, today we plunge into Graviton Lance, a six-year-old pulse rifle that is cutting through Destiny 2 with a powerful speedy update that has everybody pulling it out of their vaults. Now, some of our deep dives, like Leviathan's Breath, are about determining whether something is in the meta at all. But on Graviton Lance, there is no question about it. It is meta. Now, while Graviton's origin seems unceremonious, it's still worth examining its background. Thanks to Activision's love for sequels regardless of merit, Destiny 2 launched with a clean slate, removing all but a few select weapons and exotics. A tighter focus on PvP compared to its predecessor, with an entire sandbox revolving around double primaries, with specials sharing the heavy slots and legendary weapons with static rolls. Now, this is context in which we received Graviton Lance, and it was pretty popular. It was actually one of the three exotic choices during the Red War campaign, Sunshine, Wrist Runner, and Graviton Lance. And there were a lot of people that chose Graviton Lance. Now, even though it was a fun weapon, Keep in mind, Graviton was never really the meta back in Vanilla D2. And I think a huge reason for this is because it was a three round burst pulse rifle, which just didn't synergize with the way this weapon was meant to be. And then forsaken it, Bungie shifted it to a two burst, which fundamentally changed this weapon for the better. And a few sandboxes later, we suddenly found ourselves in a heavy Graviton Lance meta. So where are we now? What merits this deep dive on this exotic with so much history? First up, it was the second most used weapon in Iron Banner. And for good reason, Trials of Osiris competitive, you see Graviton Lance truly making a name for itself. Now, Season the Deep launched with update 7.1, and it included a change to a number of exotics. When we were doing our breakdown interviews, Bungie devs did mention that Graviton was gonna be hot, and hot it is. Now, keep in mind, something that has made Graviton stand out in comparison to the Pulse Rifle is number one, it's a two-shot burst. And number two, the second shot does more damage. And then, of course, you literally can clear an entire room with these explosions, man. Now, after 7.1, these traits still remain intact, but the damage and rate of fire got shuffled around. Using the crucible damage numbers provided in the patch notes, the second shot's precision damage was reduced from 58.7 to 42.3, but the first shot and rate of fire were buffed from 15.7 to 31.4, and from 257 rounds per minute to 300 rounds per minute. The changes to Graviton's rate of fire resulted in a time to kill value just a hair over 0.8 seconds. Which, don't get me wrong, 0.8 seconds is a far cry better than the one second time to kill value from before the rework. But there are a ton of mid-range weapons, pulse rifles especially, that push into that 0.7 territory. And even slightly lower than that. Things like no time to explain. Messenger. But keep in mind, that's why time to kill isn't everything. As this alone doesn't explain the popularity and efficacy of the weapon. Its forgiveness is huge. And its dueling capabilities is honestly second to none. It is so consistent. I get so many people that come by the stream and say, Cross, why would I use Graviton Lance when it's time to kill value is subpar. And all that I can stress is, guys, it works. That's all I can say. It works. And it does so phenomenally. Now, inside of PvE, Graviton is still a monster. At Carl, the first shot hits miners for 2,699 per body and 4,472 per crit. And majors for 1,346 per body and 2,259 per crit. Now, the high damage second shot against miners is 3,644 per body and 6,037 per crit. And against majors, it's 1,841 per body and 3,049 per crit. Now this gives us a max DPS here in PVE of 13,270 against majors, all including the bonuses there from the exotic catalyst and Vorpal weapon. Now, if you're wondering why Bungie made the change here to lower the damage of that second shot, but then add it to the first shot, is really so that things aren't so punishing if you happen to miss the second shot of that burst. So not only did the rate of fire increase forgiveness across the board for both PvE and PvP, allowing you to pepper your enemies at greater frequency, but also the fact that there's more forgiveness on a per shot basis within that burst. And I think another reason for this is because we do have Revision Zero, which has a two shot heavy burst mode. And it almost seems like Bungie's trying to expand on that archetype by kind of bringing those two exotics in line of each other. Now keep in mind though, the damage value here does lag behind other exotics even inside of PvE, including the likes of Revision Zero. Pretty significant 
Signal Link. Again, just like the time to kill value inside of PvP, on paper, Graviton Lance shouldn't be this good. But the numbers don't lie, guys. People are using it for good reason. Now, I wish we could just slap a label on here and just say, gun good, end of the review. And that's essentially what we did in our first review. But this is a deep dive. We need to zoom out from just the damage value. The most obvious place to start is actually with Revision Zero, whose two burst firing mode was actually a beta test for how to improve Graviton Lance's performance. Revision Zero's Crucible performance is lackluster, to say the least. If the answer doesn't lie in the two burst fire or time to kill, we should examine Graviton's traits themselves. Let's start with that 90 range and 100 stability. Dude, it is not often that Bungie just goes all out and just slaps on arguably some of the best stats in the game on a single weapon. Now, with that being said, though, the second shot does kick like a mule, but only visually. It's as straight as an arrow, though. Every time your reticle is on point, there's hardly any deviation, which is why you don't see much separation in the shot and why Graviton Lance has been compared to that of a scout rifle. You also have 75 aim assist, which is definitely beneficial, but beyond its base stats, it also has four important exotic traits. That's right, guys. Four. First, Cosmology. This creates void explosions on kills. The damage on these are annoying to track, since sometimes damage numbers just don't appear, but there seems to be three separate values in play. A high damage initial burst, contact damage from the little void orbs, and explosions if those orbs detonate after contact. Now, in PvE, the initial burst hits as hard as 19,891 against miners and 15,850 against majors. But there's a steep damage fall off that can drop that damage considerably. The orbs do 143 damage to miners and 72 to majors, while the subsequent burst is up to 2,842 on miners and 1,436 on majors. Now, this is a powerful PvE tool that literally can clear a room with a single shot, creating a cascade of void kabloomies. And I know this is sure a chi, but even in other PvE environments, it does a very good job, especially when void surge is active. Now, inside of PvP, the collateral kills are definitely possible. I actually snagged a few when playing trial. And look, it just punishes enemies that stick together. And we are starting to drift back to that hand-holding meta. Weapons like Cloud Strike definitely allows you to clear out those groups of enemies that like to hold hands. We also have a few primary weapons that can do so, but Graviton Lance does it on a bigger scale, sometimes giving us really funky numbers and allowing us to get the multi-kill. If anything, though, it allows you to easily clean up that second target if they happen to be tagged by those void explosions. Now, to expand on this even more, Graviton actually has two perks within its exotic catalyst. That's right, guys. Two. It has both Vorpal Weapon and Turnabout. These are very PvE-friendly perks with sporadic benefits inside of PvP, only giving bonus damage or overshields when fighting enemies in their super. But inside of PvE, this is a fantastic catalyst. And then our last perk, Black Hole, the exotic intrinsic. The second shot of a burst rips a hole through space-time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall-off. Now, the no fall-off part. No matter how far you target, you'll deal 100% damage. Now, as great as that sounds, I will say after a certain range, you do tend to lose target acquisition. So even though technically speaking, yes, there is no damage fall off, you do reach a certain point in range with a weapon, just stop snagging. Now, why is Graviton Lance meta? Well, in PvE, it's actually not. Cosmology is powerful. And as much as I love this exotic, there is no intrinsic link to Void 3.0 keywords like weaken and volatile, which is unfortunate. Fortunate. Hence why Collective Obligation has replaced Graviton Lance for me inside of PvE. Seasonal perks can make up that gap though, but Graviton Lance is really just a weapon for lower level content. Now keep in mind, I'm not saying you cannot run this in Grandmasters. I'm just saying if you're looking to utilize Void to the fullest, you need an exotic that can dip into those verbs. And for the time being, Graviton Lance cannot do so. Now inside of the Crucible, something that really defines meta is a fast optimal time to kill. Graviton Lance is a time to kill that almost everybody can hit with 90 range 100 stability 75 aim assist no damage fall off for 50 percent of your shots and a weapon that can seamlessly go from short range capabilities all the way to long range and still compete against so many weapons this is the recipe for why graviton lance has now risen which seems odd considering we have had a graviton lance meta before which makes me wonder is this going 
going to last? Is Bungie okay with this? And more so than that, for me, how is Graviton Lance going to change when Bungie makes these huge adjustments to our ranged weapons, most notably the zoom, rangefinder, and the archetypes of our weapons? We know this change is coming. The thing is, at least from our understanding, is weapons with high stats are going to be the weapons that are rewarded the most versus just weapons with high zoom, as that's going to be decoupled from your range. Well, fellas, Graviton Lance sits at 90 range. And does it take a scientist to theorize that this weapon is still going to be very dominant unless Bungie singles it out and nerfs it? Regardless, though, guys, the verdict that we stated at the beginning of this video still stands. Graviton Lance feels incredible right now. It dominates in multiple ranges. With the change there to rate of fire, it's actually allowed it to be even more deadly in close ranges, giving you the ability to combat SMGs and other things that are pushing you. It's hard hitting, easy handling, smooth firing, and other than the little jar there that you get with that second shot, the weapon itself is arguably one of the most consistent in the game. Hence why even this past weekend in Trials of Osiris, Graviton Lance is currently the number one weapon. And you know, it's so wild because the spawns on this map would indicate that everything should be close range. You should be playing aggressively against your enemies, fighting for that control point. And that's what I'm trying to say, guys, is Graviton Lance is not a weapon that you just have to lane with. It's actually a weapon you can play aggressively with. So enjoy it while you can. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.